we'll see how this goes. Three, two, we got Battle one, of go. <laughs> the kind, bit. Battle of One Kind of God and One Who Represents a God. I don't know what the heck you want to say. <laughs> Menda used to be a god. Yep. Well, Black Twins, and me. Just trying to get some combo started, but. Getting those up, up airs. It's an up Almost B. finishes it, though. Oh! oh! Smash, though. That was really, really, really bad for yeah. our Astro. You know, that, that Ford Smash comes out a lot quicker than I remember it coming out. Um, The startup is still honestly the same, but the thing is about the Ford Smash is that it's not punishable at the ending at all. Oh, okay. Like, I think it's the startup might be a little, might be faster. I'm not 100% certain, but it's still, like, he can use it and you just can't punish it. You have to punish the beginning. Nice grab by Black Vince. Can he turn this into something? Most of the neutral reset. Gets the up there. Fair. Misses the up B, though. Takes the stage control, but Astro being like, no, I want stage control back. <laughs> Alright. up there. Astro trying to get something started here. I feel like he wants his kill sooner than later at this yeah. point, because things are looking really grim. Dude, nice use of back here. Yeah, he's really being kept out here, and you know, even with Aura recovering, it's still going to be a bit difficult at the... Wow, Black Jin's <laughs> trying to be slick with the... Force him into the le the laggy up B there, but try to get a kill with the up B, but nope. Right. Oh. Astro's oh. looking for something. He's trying to basically get the aura sphere charge. He can basically you can cancel it into an up smash and it's like mm. it can be a guaranteed up smash if he gets his basic right. right. Went for aura sphere into grab. Got a bunch of pummels, but wasn't able to actually throw. And Black Twins SD and gets nice forward smash. Forward smash. JV2 stock from Black Twins. Yep. Honestly, him getting that early kill on... Like, him getting that early kill was so important. And, yeah. like, that forward smash was just really good precision, really good execution on the timing. Yeah. Oh. Armin's thinking. Armin's thinking, does he want to switch to his other characters, or does he just want to stay it? He's going to switch colors? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that'll do some. The color pick instead of the counter pick. Yeah. Alright, we got the Fire Emblem LD. Let's go. Playing on Omega Fire Emblem stage. Whatever the heck the stage is called. I can't even remember right now. I think it's the Coliseum or whatever. No, that's a 3DS. Whatever. Anyways, back to the stage. Match at hand. Yep. Black Twins is giving Armin a lot of trouble to approach right now. Yeah. And like one thing too is that Armin's game like it heavily revolves around like his use of aura sphere pressure. And like Black Twins having a character with multiple jumps makes it really tough for him to like basically trap landings and stuff like that. Because you can basically use his multiple jumps to bait something and then he just baits the aura sphere charge and it's like, yeah, okay. Gets he got him with the aura sphere charge offset. That's there what I was talking go. about earlier. Well, you know, turns it around compared to game one, and he seems to have gotten a bit of composure in the breather between game one and game two. Yeah, but I also think it's the fact that this counter pick, he's just very comfortable playing on this stage. Mm. Oh, he's dead. Nope. Critical yeah. hit. <laughs> Got him with it. Yeah. Shuttle loop, boys. Thank you. Dash attack. Oh, won't be able to get the bear, though. Yeah, tries to get that bear combo so that he basically dunks him into the ground and then can down tilt him three times into an up air restring. Got him with that aura sphere charge. Oh, he almost had that reset. Or just a hit on the ground, I should say. Not really a reset. Mm. Both these players playing some pretty intense footsies, but Black Twins is honestly just. Looks like he's kind of just outplaying him in the neutral. Yeah. Both oh, these characters are kind of notoriously crap, crap neutrals. Yeah. Trying to apply that pressure with the Aura Sphere. I like what Astro did there. He ran yeah. up to the ledge, charged it, and then just like ran back and threw it out. out. Yeah. Wow, that clash. Aura Sphere shield pressure. I like it. Dash attack. We'll get it up there. <gasps> Misses the shuttle loop because of Oh, hard dodge. punish! Gets and he gets the kill. Ties it up one to one. Very well done there by Astro. 
Nice stuff. So yep. the color pick did actually help, it seems. Yep. <laughs> I told you, dude. <laughs> well, okay. I said the counter. I meant the counter pick. I, yeah. You just mind game me with that. <laughs> <laughs> They're both words that start with C. It's okay. <laughs> He's switching to Mario. Oh. We got a double switch or no? Are they going to do Dr. Mario versus Mario? Oh, no. He's sticking Lucario. But they rhyme at least, so that's something. <laughs> the Ario brother, The Ario Brothers? Yep. All right. All right. So how is this matchup? I have no idea. <laughs> yeah, in terms of, like, how the matchup spread is. Like, I know in terms of the matchup, like, they both have tools to body each other. Yeah. But a lot of this matchup basically concludes to... Lucario has aura, Mario has a cape. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I haven't gotten to see too much of, well, Lucario in general in Smash 4, so. A lot of Lucario's neutral game in this game is very dependent. And, oh my god, that very is disgusting. Mm. He just read his jump. But, like, a lot of Lucario's neutral game in this game is very heavily dependent on his aura sphere game. Mm -hmm. And cape just honestly wrecks it, because the one problem is, is that. If Mario's landing, he can use Cape to stall with recovery. And the other thing he can do is that he can just Cape the Aura Sphere right back at you. <laughs> oh, oh the fully up charged up smash. Oh. That, was, that was vicious. Yeah. That was vicious. Seems, seems very common in Smash 4, at least today from what I've seen. Everyone just goes rather straight down <laughs> when they're in the air. And I don't know if that's quite the wisest decision. Yeah, honestly, Astro could have done a few things there to avoid them. Yeah. But... One thing I've actually seen Astro do, though, in the past is that he has actually gotten the kill fairly easily at low percentages, but Black Twin's just comboing him for days right now. Really not wanting him to try and get anything in, but a grab will send him off stage. If he's back, Aura Sphere charge. Oh, oh missed barely him. missed that. Unfortunate for Astro, just barely missed base that. Got him with that. That was Dr. Mario in melee. <laughs> Astro should just go quick man grab. Oh. It's off smash, but he's still living. He now right. has aura, though. This is the thing. This is when things get scary for. Oh. And Black oh. just kills himself. Does, All right. Does Astro the favor? And see, this is the problem: is that Astro now has rage. Yeah. Two hit boys. Whoa! Oh. Beautiful cape. The cape sends him backwards, able to get out a strong hit and kill. Bro, the deeks. Like. <laughs> Like that, that's one of those soccer, yo, the guy the guy tried to go left, he was like, yeah. nah, <laughs> I read you. <laughs> and let's, we're going to be looking at it again, I believe. Is this yeah, right here. Yeah, right this here. Is Cape, bam. Cape down Poopies. smash. Oh, Poopies. man. 